So this is what the PowerPoint Zoom programming does for your slides. So if I run the slideshow here, and then I come and click on one of these icons, it's going to take me to another slide. And if I click on that slide, it's going to take me back. And so these are set up the same way. But this one is set up to go to another depth. So I click on this one. It then allows me to click on these icons and it'll take me to another depth. So let me show you how this is set up. Oh, by the way, if I click on this and then click on this slide, it goes all the way back to the beginning. So basically, I just insert a picture. I'm going to use a shape and I'm going to use a circle. Hold down shift and make it circular. And then I'm going to change the outline weight to four and a half and choose the outline color to white. Then I'm going to insert an icon and we're going to use this target insert and of course it's black so I have to change the color of it so I go to graphics fill and change it to white. Now that this is selected I then hold down shift and click the background the circle and then right click both of them and I'm going to group them then I'm going to save this by right clicking as a picture and then I'll name it 11 click save and then I delete it I go up to the insert ribbon go to zoom Click slide zoom. So you pick whatever slide you want, and I want this chart slide. And then I click insert. It gives me the picture. And I now go up here to zoom tools. Go over here to return to zoom. So that when you click the slide that you go to, it goes back to this one. And then I change the image from a file. And I'm going to scroll down until I see my 11 and insert. And you see it has a line around it and that has always been a problem for me. So I click on this. Then I go over to format slide zoom and then click this bucket here and go down to no line. And you just continue that for other layers.